Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can sideload the Android OTA update on your Google Pixel 8 Pro. So this here is my Google Pixel 8 Pro and if I go and check for updates you will notice it is telling me that the system is up to date security patches from October 2023. The November security patch update for the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro has already rolled out. However, as with Google, updates are rolled out in batches and I am an impatient soul. So I'm going to sideload the November 2023 security patch onto my Google Pixel 8 Pro. Before we get down to the actual video, do note all the relevant links, all the videos which you need for this video are linked in the description of the video. First thing we need to do is we need to enable developer options on our Google Pixel 8 Pro. So how do you do that? You will go into settings, then you will go into about phone. Once you're in about phone, scroll down all the way, you will see something called build number. Tap on this seven times. If you have a pen or password set up, you will have to enter that pen or password. And then you're going to tap on this arrow and you're going to get a toast notification that you are now a developer. Now, if I go back and I go into system, you will notice I have a new option called developer options. So we're going to go into developer options and here in we need to enable USB debugging. So here it is, enable USB debugging. On this pop-up, we're going to select OK. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to connect your Pixel 8 Pro to the computer using a USB cable. Now, once you connect your Google Pixel 8 Pro to the computer using a USB cable, you're going to get another pop-up screen which says allow USB debugging from this computer. Here in we're going to say always allow from this computer and then select allow. If you do not get that pop-up right away, you will get it later in the video. We'll talk about it when we do ADB devices. Next thing we need is we need ADB and Fastboot or what Google calls SDK platform tools. So this here is the official website developer.android.com and again all the relevant links are in the description of the video. We'll go into download section and you will see you have SDK platform tools for Mac, Linux and Windows. Whatever operating system you're using on your computer or Mac you need to download SDK platform tools for that operating system. I'm doing it on a Mac so I'll select for Mac and then I have read and agree the terms and conditions and say download Android SDK platform tools for Mac and where do you want to save it. Next thing you need is you need the full OTA image for your Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro. Again, developers.google.com slash Android slash OTA is the website and you need to select full OTA images for Nexus and Pixel devices on the left and for the terms and conditions we're going to say acknowledge. That is going to take us to another page and here in on the right hand side you have a menu which has all the Pixel and the Nexus devices for which OTA images are available. We are doing this on the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So we're going to select Google Pixel 8 Pro. So here it is. These are all the OTA images which are available for the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Now we are already on the October patch. The one which we need is for November. So we're going to select on link and then we're going to say just save it. And as you can see, this is a 2 GB file, so it will take some time. In the meantime, for certain devices, you might have multiple OTA images for the same security patch. For example, here for the Google Pixel 7a, right? If we go into the October section, you have two OTA images. One is October, the other says Japan. So if you are in such a situation, you have the Japan Pixel 7a, then you need to download the one which is for your carrier or for your country if it is mentioned explicitly. Another example here would be for say the September patch. So this is for the Google Pixel 7 which is codenamed Panther and if I go into the September OTA update you will notice I have September 2023 and then I also have another September 2023 for Verizon and Verizon's MVNOs. So again if your device is a Verizon Pixel and you see something which is for your specific carrier you need to download that specific OTA. Now once both the files, that is your platform tools or SDK platform tools with ADB and Fastboot and your full OTA image for your Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro has downloaded, I recommend that you place them inside a 
folder and then the next thing you need to do is you need to unzip this platform tools i just double click on it on my mac and bam here it is i have the platform tools folder here and i have adb and i have fastboot you can use any unzip utility or any unarchive utility which you want to next up mac and linux users need to open terminal in this very path so in my case i will right click on platform hyphen tools folder and then i will say new terminal at folder if you are using windows all you need to do is go inside the platform tools folder highlight or select the address bar everything will be highlighted and selected and then you need to press the delete key to delete everything type in cmd press the enter key and that is going to open up command prompt in the platform tools path or in the platform tools folder so here it is we are on terminal if i do ls space hyphen al over here you will see i have my adb and my fast boot which confirms i am inside the platform tools folder windows users can do dir space slash p and you will get the same result it is going to list the contents of the path wherein you are and you should see your adb and fast boot. the first command we're going to execute over here is to check whether adb is detecting our device or not the command for that is adb devices mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command and we're going to press the enter key so there it is you can see that my pixel 8 pro is being detected and it is being shown as device if in your case it shows up as unauthorized then you're going to get that same pop-up which we saw earlier in the video to allow usb debugging from this computer so check mark the option of always allow and then you can say allow and then do adb devices one more time and you will see that it will change from unauthorized to device so your device showing up in adb devices as a device is very important if it shows up as unauthorized then it's not going to work the other thing windows users do need to install drivers for adb and fastboot video for that can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to boot our pixel 8 pro over here into bootloader mode so the command for that is adb space reboot space bootloader and then we're going to press the enter key as soon as you do that your device is going to reboot and it will boot into what is known as fast boot or bootloader mode so this is how bootloader or fast boot mode looks like it is telling me fast boot mode and you will see i have different options over here as well so i have start now you can use the volume buttons to switch between the different options you can see i have restart bootloader rescue mode barcode power off start and recovery mode as soon as you see recovery mode you can press the power button and that is going to bring you to another screen after this google logo wherein you will see this android logo upside down with a red exclamation mark here and what you need to do is you need to press the power button keep it press and hold and then you press volume up so that is what we're going to do we're going to press and hold the power button and then we're going to press volume up and bam there it is we are now in android recovery here and again you can switch between the different options by pressing the volume up and volume down keys the option which we are looking for is apply update from adb so this here is the option apply update from adb once it is highlighted and selected we are going to press the power button and now it is telling me that i can send or sideload my update using adb are you worried about your safety when you're out and about and are looking for a self-defense kit take a look at the three-in-one self-defense keychain from papa safety just flip open the top cap and press and hold the trigger to release the pepper spray, a loud 130 decibel sound and the flashing LED lights all at the same time to stop the attacker and also attract attention from people around you. To add icing to the cake, the rechargeable battery on the Papa Safety 3-in-1 keychain can be charged via USB Type-C port. And if you run out of your pepper spray, all you have to do is slide down the back and you can change the spray bottle easily. So if you're looking for an awesome 3-in-1 self-defense keychain kit, then this one from Papa Safety is a must-have. The next thing we need to do is we need to sideload our OTA update onto the Google Pixel 8 Pro. The command for that is adb space sideload space and then you need to plug in the path of your OTA update. My recommendation is just drag and drop the file, the zip file, 
and put it into your command prompt or drag and drop it to the terminal and you can see that the path was plugged in and, and now if i press the right arrow key on my keyboard you can see that this is the whole command adb space side load space and then the path of the ota update the next thing you need to do is you need to press the enter key on your keyboard once you do that you will see that it is telling us in our terminal that it is serving the update and on your phone also you will get a message that it is verifying the update package right now and once the verification process was finished successfully it is now telling us on the phone that it was verified successfully and now it is installing the update step one of once the side load process of the OTA update on the Google Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro has finished successfully, command prompt or terminal will return to the prompt. You might get total transfer 2.00x. On your phone, you will get step 1 of 2, step 2 of 2, and then it will say install from ADB completed with status 0, and we are back in the Android recovery options. So here and you will notice by default, reboot system now is highlighted and selected. In case it is not, you can again use the volume buttons to switch between the different options. And then once reboot system now is highlighted and selected, press the power button to reboot your device. And at this point, feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer computer as well. Pretty soon you should see the Google logo and then you will be on your lock screen. So here it is. I am on the lock screen on my Google Pixel 8 Pro. Let me enter my pen. And now let us go into settings and then we can go into system. We can check for a system update and bam, there it is. You can see that my security patch is now from November 2023, which means we have successfully updated from October security patch to the November 2023 security patch on our Google Pixel 8 Pro.